guys in our last lecture of heart and culture we have discussed about uh, pahari painting okay i'm uh, there are still some aspects to be discussed regarding pahari painting but now here i am going to discuss uh, kalighat painting okay the kalighat painting uh, <coughs> see where is kalighat while we discussing the river drainage we have seen that ganga bifurcates in farakka in west bengal into two streams one goes to bangladesh okay then another bifurcates as hugli throughout west bengal calcutta is situated in the southern uh, nearby hugli and this kalighat okay where this painting is originated actually this kalighat is situated uh, in south calcutta uh, south calcutta okay it is situated uh, nearby the bank of a uh, uh, canal okay the, uh, nearby the bank of a canal that has been uh, created from hugli okay uh, uh, it is called this canal is buri ganga okay where is kalighat the kalighat is situated in south calcutta nearby the canal buri ganga okay uh, and the origin of kalighat painting is in this place okay Okay, there are two important aspects of Kalighat painting. One is the influence of British. Okay, how the British aspects are uh, in, uh, reflected in Kalighat painting. I will discuss this um, uh, aspect in my next lecture. Now here I will discuss the Kalighat now here i will discuss kalighat painting as social satire or the uh, uh, kalighat painting as a reflection of transforming society that means what kalighat painting was actually originated or kalighat painting actually get matured and developed during that time when there is a transformation of society okay british came railway came okay uh, tram came okay as a result of this colonial occupation the whole calcutta city has been transformed from the old to a new okay the new urbanization actually um, uh, comes into calcutta city okay the british administration british uh, system okay the all british materialism and uh, british uh, the ruling system of british all these actually had totally transformed the calcutta city okay but before that the calcutta city was a traditional city okay now along with the growing urbanization along with the arrival of british along with the arrival of western culture okay there is a conflict okay between the old and new okay the society has been trans transformed okay the mentality has been transformed okay uh, there is a conflict between the values okay the bengali values okay someone has said that the kalighat painting actually reflects the the cosmopolitan folk culture cosmopolitan folk culture that means what the folk culture of bengal folk culture of calcutta okay and now the transformation of that folk culture with the arrival of british okay these these are actually the main themes of kalighat painting okay all these actually themes are reflected in kalighat painting okay that is why it is said that the kalighat painting is actually depicts the new bengali identity in front of the western culture the bengali identity and its crux the bengali identity and its conflict okay with the arrival of new um, with the arrival of new westernization with the arrival of uh, british administration these are the, the in this way bang kalighat painting actually depicts the root depicts the conflict between old and new a crux uh, at which point society was transformed society uh, uh, society was dwindled wh what to accept what not to expect okay in this way uh, kalighat painting ex uh, depicts a, a very puzzling uh, complexity that uh, dwindling society uh, standing on both sides old and new now what are the how the kalighat painting expresses this uh, co conflict of society uh, in 21st century there are some aspects which can be deliberated in case of kalighat painting first one is babu culture babu culture means the british with the administration created some babus babus means generally the people who are, who are uh, who's uh, occupied the offices okay the babu culture means what what is the irony of babu culture as depicted by the uh, 
depicted by the Kalighat painting. It is generally said that Babus are the most corruptive person. Whenever any villagers comes to offices for performing any, uh, any work, for any work, Babus never do anything without taking any bribery. This means the Babu culture, a bribery. Babu culture and the arrival of bribery is depicted by the Kalihat painting. Point one is Babu culture. Point two, new kind of romances new kind of romances this means new with the arrival of british ex there are different uh, a new kind of romances actually came in calcutta okay couples uh, uh, couples flirting in rickshaw couples flirting in uh, 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 auto, uh, auto couples flirting in a uh, road couples flirting in garden this kind of new concept of romance is created uh, in uh, uh, Calcutta with the arrival of British. It is the influence, uh, we can say that it is the, it is, uh, the influence of, uh, 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 it is the influence of British in Kalighat painting, but along with this, it also reflects the transformation of society in Kalighat painting. Before that, Calcutta, uh, before that, Calcutta was a traditional, uh, it was totally traditional, such kind of romances were absent. Okay, now with the arrival of British, uh, new uh, kind of romance, this new new kind of flirting yeah, that uh, is that uh, in which the one of the, the society is depicted in Kalighat painting. First one is Babu culture, second one is new kind of romance, third kind is Ovisarika, uh, in another is extramarital affair. One is irony. The extramarital affair is depicted in Kalighat painting with lots of irony and satire. Okay, irony and satire pervade this extra uh, 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 this extramarital affair uh, is depicted in. Uh, Kalighat painting with lots of irony and satire. One is uh, said that uh, there was a uh, there was a incident where a 16 year old girl uh, who confesses to extramarital affair to a priest, she has been beheaded by the hus beheaded by her husband. And when the case uh, went into the court, there there was a so much uh, 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 there was so much. Uh, the court was so much congested with people that there was imposed the entry fee for the court. This kind of extramarital affair here, uh, obhisarical kind of love was actually a kind of uh, society which was given by the uh, in, uh, arrival of uh, new western Western system. Uh, the, in this way, uh, first we have seen Babu culture, second new kind of romances. New kind of romances means the romances which uh, actually happen outside the uh, before that, what if an arranged marriage was the ultimate goal? Okay, but the outside the arranged marriage, this new kind of romance is couple, young people, uh, flirting in garden, flirting in road, flirting in rickshaw. These kind of things are actually incorporated in Kalighat painting with the transformation of society. In that way, extramarital affair was, uh, uh, extramarital affair which was thought to be uh, pervaded in uh, society with the arrival of British. The, uh, okay, this, all the things are actually incorporated in Kalighat painting. Now there are some other characteristics uh, that uh, that is uh, ex uh, said to be the uh, 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 characteristics of Kalighat painting which reflects the tra societal transformation. Uh, number one, degrading value. Uh, some it is said that with uh, the westernization totally degraded the values of younger generation. Younger generations for younger generation forgot the old younger generation forgot the old values they they were never attracted towards their tradition they uh, when they uh, they were taught they were learned in english education western education as a result of this they embraced western education forgetting their own tradition degrading value uh, degrading value number five conflict between old and new number six uh, growing materialism the hanker people uh, hankering of the growing tendency of people hankering after money hankering after government services now another characteristic the mere imitation of western culture without thinking people are uh, imitating western culture or oh, oh, they are not deliberating they are not deliberative or oh, they are not rational in choosing what to uh, do and what not to do but uh, they are merely imitating western culture in this way 
in this way uh, actually uh, the way uh, uh, Anna, uh, uh, the in this way the uh, Kalihat painting uh, uh, actually depicts the, the transformation of society which was a very crucial time for Calcutta uh, the Bengali identity losing one kind of losing Bengali identity and a conflict between the uh, uh, conflict in the mind of Bengali uh, uh, with the old and with the arrival of new what to choose what not to choose okay these are the uh, characteristics of Kalighat painting which depicts the transformation of society another characteristics of Kalighat painting that shows the transformation of society is the new trend of feminism new trend of feminism I, I, we can say that it is the influence of uh, uh, British uh, or in, it is the influence of English Western culture but it also reflects or it also relates to the one of the most crucial aspect of Bengali culture before that Bengali culture was very traditional and preserved but now Kalighat painting what happens the it is it paints the ladies uh, who actually enter the jungle without fearing uh, Without, uh, without fearing for uh, uh, animals, wild animals. They are in this way one kind of uh, new identity of women is depicted in Kalighat painting which are the symbol of new kind of romance and new kind of beauty. Okay, till now what we have seen that Kalighat painting originates uh, and matured at a time when the Bengali culture is growing to be changed uh, with the arrival, with the touch of new urbanization, with the touch of new westernization as a result of arrival of the British. This is why there are two aspects of Kalighat painting. One is that uh, main aspect of Kalighat painting. Um, one is that it shows the crucial transformation of society at a very dwindling time. Another is that it influences the, it was influenced, it takes the influence of Western culture or British influences seen in Kalighat painting. I am, I will discuss the check-in aspect British influence of Kalighat painting in next lecture, but here I am discussing the important aspects of transforming society as reflected in Kalighat painting. Now the first one, number point, I am again repeating the point, point one is Baba culture point two is new kind of romance point three is obisarika or extramarital affair point four degrading values point five conflict between old and new point six growing materialism and point five mere imitation of western culture okay now in this way a cosmopolitan folk culture is reflected in another is that cosmopolitan folk culture that means transformation of folk bengali culture uh, with the arrival of new cosmopolitan uh, uh, ideology okay these are the reflect characteristics of bengali painting which can be attributed to the transforming moment of bengali society at that time uh, another character of Kalighat painting is that a kind of social satire and social irony is depicted in Kalighat painting. Okay, for example, a uh, barber who is actually cleaning the ear of a woman. Okay, that means her women are becoming so much fashionable, they uh, so much fashionable. Okay. Uh, they went to barber and uh, they make their ears clean in this way a kind of lampoon l a m p w o n a kind of lampoon and social satire or social irony is reflected in uh, kalighat painting okay sometimes uh, sometimes uh, the paintings uh, is seen that a woman is uh, a uh, pampered woman is carried in the back of a husband okay then along with them a person okay uh, a person who is uh, uh, standing in a suit and tie okay with stylish topi stylish hat in his head okay this kind of social lampooning or social satire means how much people are imitating the society okay uh, one can there one way there was a very extreme poverty okay there was uh, no food for eating okay and another way you see people are wearing stylish head people are wearing a stylish suit and coat okay this kind of divergent social irony and social satire is another character of Kalighat painting in this way actually Kalighat which was actually temple in uh, which was actually temple where people came to worship where there was a assemble where there was a gathering and where the painters also came uh, there okay and who uh, in, came to this uh, okay, Kal Kalighat temple okay for worshipping purposes for uh, any purposes uh, uh, held in fair okay for uh, showing their painting in this way the paintings which uh, clustered around this area 
around this temple area transformed into a one of the prominent genre uh, of painting in India reflecting a phase uh, of socio-cultural a socio-cultural phase of colonial era.